house to home. We've got a whole lot going on in this episode. Now that we've got the HVAC system installed, we can start working on some other things that were in the way, including rebuilding the utility room. We put another coat of Kills Primer on the floor. We ripped out the old doors that covered the furnace, and now we're putting in the framing and the walls to make some bifold doors. We also get the main bathroom in the house almost completely finished. The only thing left to do is some touch-up painting, a little bit of trim painting, but the floors are in, all the plumbing's connected, and it is usable as it is. Also in this episode, I'll be installing a security alarm system and updating a lot more of the electrical switches, outlets, and fixtures. So sit back and enjoy this episode. All right, so right now I'm gonna get started working on the master bathroom. I got a couple little projects to do in here, including some plumbing and getting the floor started. We're gonna get, go ahead and try to get this bathroom finished in the next couple days for the most part. So we got the thin plywood base down for start laying some tile. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to get the new sink installed. First I'm going to cut off and replace both of these valves because the one leaks and the other one I'm sure is not far behind it. talked about this once before but in the laundry room here in the utility room the floor actually slopes a little bit so right here where it goes towards the wall even though I cut it out 
there's a little bit of a slope down on this end. And the reason why that is is because this whole wall here that separates the utility room and the bathroom is pushing down on the subfloor. And there's actually nothing underneath in the basement. There isn't a uh, joist running under that. It's between two joists. So it's kind of pushed the whole wall down. What I'm going to do today is see if I can try to push that up a little bit from below or at least support it so it doesn't get any worse. Also here in the master where it goes into the bathroom, it's kind of a similar situation with this wall. It's between two joists, so a joist in the basement is here and here, and in between is the wall here. And right here when you walk in the bathroom, you just feel a little bit of give in the floor. So I'm gonna come from below and put some cross support between the joists to kind of help support this. It's level right here, it's level right there, but right here in between, you just feel a little bit of a dip. And I'm gonna take that out from below today also. So here it is from below, that spot going into the bathroom. So I think that should definitely help firm that up a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is jack up the floor right here to where I can secure it between the rafters. Like I said, the between the utility room and the bathroom, the walls kind of sink. I'm going to try to use this bottle jack. And I kind of fabricated a little lift support here. I'm just going to try to jack that up a little bit. Just take the weight off enough that I can screw in some cross supports. One, two, three, four, five cross supports installed. And that has leveled up the floor quite a bit. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. Also touching up walls, finishing the mudding process in the closet in the master bath, bedroom.
That's water. Well, we're excited. We can officially go to the bathroom here now. Except the toilet seat didn't come with any bolts, so... kitchen getting most of the electrical done in here. This is a switch for the light above the sink which has been installed. And this other one will be a switch for garbage disposal. Right now it just terminates to that wire. And then also there's a wireless system built in here to control the kitchen light here since we wanted to put the switch over on the wall. It's a little easier than running new wire. You just tap the switch. And that'll turn on the kitchen light. It also came with this little key fob, which also turns the light on and off. Not sure that that will really be used, but it's available. Some of the door sensors cut in. So here's the alarm panel. Over here. Utility room door. This is a Honeywell system that uses magnetic sensors, and this, these are wireless here. You drill a three quarter inch hole and it goes in. And then there's a magnet right here in the door. Also been working on a lot of the other alarm wiring. So here on this door, similar, but instead of a wireless contact, it's a wired flush mount that runs down into the basement here to a wireless transmitter. And you have your magnet in the bottom of the door. I'm gonna work on getting this top of this door framed in that way when the basement finishing guys come and they put the wall panels up it'll line up and I'm installing a security system on here so I need a place to mount the sensor
bathroom is almost done. Everything works in here. All the plumbing is connected. Toilet, sink, just needs some painting done. But the walls are painted. All the electrical is installed. A new mirror and a light. So it just needs the trim, the doors, and the vanity painted. Come back through. Yesterday evening, the last coat of Kills Oil Odorous Primer on the floor in the hallway. Also did this front room here, where we didn't replace the floor. There's just a bunch of little stuff that needs done.
well, we got a lot done in this episode, as you just saw. Uh, once again, like I said, we got this bathroom here pretty much completed, and we got the utility room well on its way to completion, and we also got a lot of the other little uh, framing projects drywalled, mudded, and touched up. We got the security system installed, and we got a lot of, of electrical uh, fixtures uh, put in, including a remote light in the kitchen. So hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Uh, we got a lot more to come. We'll see you next time. Thanks.